I really like fashion. I think it's a really great way to express yourself. It's wearable art and it's portable art. I think I'm just kind of intrigued by fashion. I'm interested in, in how much impact it has on everyone. It really can affect the way someone feels, the way they present themselves, the way they act even when they're wearing something. I'm a person that generally cares about the world and the people that live on it. How is it possible I've never really stopped to think about where my clothes come from? It's interesting, I, you know, I had no background in fashion. I was um, finishing up my last film and I was getting coffee one morning and I looked down at the cover of the New York Times and I saw this photograph and it was this photo of these two boys standing in front of this huge wall of missing person signs and I read this article about the clothing factory that had collapsed uh, just outside of Dhaka, Bangladesh, Rana Plaza and I remember standing there that morning holding the paper thinking you know how is it possible that an industry as powerful and profitable as fashion is doing business in such a way that's you know continuing to lead to the loss or the lessening of human life. It kind of stuck with me. I couldn't I couldn't shake it, and I started doing some research. By the end of that week, I was really convinced that it was a story that I wanted to tell and a story that I wanted to better understand. True Cost is a documentary film that explores the impact of fashion on both people and the planet. Um, it was filmed in 13 countries around the world. You change all consumers into activists, all consumers asking ethical questions. We're at Parsons today here in New York City and uh, we've just had a screening with about 250 students. And I think what we're seeing at schools like Parsons is sustainability begin to be some of the most exciting aspects of the curriculum. And you're seeing students matter and I think our choices matter and I think the way we buy, I think it adds up to, to really shape the world that we're living in. In my 13 years of teaching, we're seeing a completely new kind of fashion student now. They are people who want to make a difference in the industry. It was really great to hear the story of the lady in Bangladesh, to hear you know, the impact it has on her life. And that really brings home to people just how much labor is going into making these garments. They're not made really by machine. Garments still, for the most part, are made by hand. It got me thinking, like, that woman made my shoes, she made my shirt, she made my friend's clothes, she made my mom's clothes, she's still making clothes for other people. She's in her early 20s and she's the same age as most of our students around the time that they graduate. In 10 years from now they will be in design leadership positions in companies and they will have some power and some say. The film does very powerfully remind us that we are, you know, actually very closely connected to to the workers in Cambodia and in Bangladesh, in India and, and in China and elsewhere, just through these things that we wear. After seeing this film, it got me thinking, like, what can I do with my future goals to make an impact and an improvement on the, the problems and the issues that we have in the fashion industry? I think that awareness is so imperative. And what is a true cost? It's not worth it. And when you buy something, it's at the cost of someone's life or the environment, and we only have one Earth. It's a big part of the change that I hope to be a part of. I really just want to be in a space where I can contribute to as much positive change as possible. There's a new generation of people that are coming into this industry ready to, to take some of these issues on. I think there's a profound sense of hope and optimism that this is something that can be corrected and changed. Mm -hmm.